Well, hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And as promised, I have my new background, which is basically the uh, the channel art for my Sportsman Z channel. If you visited it enough, you've probably seen that. And now I got it as a background that I can use, which is kind of cool. So, uh, yeah, there you go. Me on a sport, on the cover of a sport magazine. That picture was taken on my senior trip in high school when we went to Hershey Park. And uh, my choices at the time, I think, were the Phillies, the Pirates, maybe one or two other teams. So I went for the Pirates. But uh, anyway, there it is. Me in high school, right before graduation, on the senior trip, overimposed with my image imposed on a uh, sport magazine cover, which does not exist anymore. There is no more sport magazine. So anyway, today we're going to discuss some more player personnel, baseball information, and we're also going to discuss a little bit later on in the video about the playoffs for baseball this year. I won't uh, do the usual sell on the subscribe and uh, all that stuff because hey all the information's right there saying subscribe and with my email address and my Twitter under that a little bit cut off but I think you know what it is so let's get on with it. Alright the first thing is player personnel moves and information. And news. Uh, Jordan Hicks of St. Louis had Tommy John surgery last June and he is not quite ready to begin the season with the Cardinals. They are hoping that he will be available at some point later in the season but he will not open the season with the Cardinals. That is unlike Aaron Judge of the Yankees who is expected to be available for the start of the season for the Yankees and I think they also expect um, Giancarlo Stanton to be available as well. Uh, Jose Quintana of the Cubs is questionable to start the season because he cut his finger while doing dishes at home. Really? I mean shouldn't you be leaving that for your wife? You're a baseball pitcher, you make millions and millions of dollars, and you're going to take a chance on cutting your finger doing the dishes. Let your wife do that. Okay, really. I don't, I don't want too many wives to get mad at me, so maybe not. But Anyway, that's the deal with him. Uh, he will be reevaluated in two weeks, and then they'll see. Cole Hamels of the Braves had left shoulder inflammation. And he was questionable to start the season if the season had started on time, but as we all know, it did not. And so now it is expected that he will be available for the start of the season for the Braves. And also, I had earlier mentioned that uh, Carrasco of the Indians was coming off of um, cancer, cancer treatments, and is now in remission thankfully, but there was speculation that he wouldn't play the season because of his health issues and didn't want to take a chance on, you know, getting the virus. But apparently he is going to play this year and will be available for the Indians rotation. So that's good news, I guess. I mean, you know, I don't know I really, I'm not a doctor, so I don't know how susceptible you are after you're in remission from cancer, how much more susceptible you are to um, seriously terrible side effects from the virus if you were to catch it, as opposed to somebody who is healthier and were to catch it. So we'll have to see how that um, works out. But, you know, Major League Baseball is taking steps. They're going to um, test players three times a day um, 
they're going to keep the social distancing down. There's no spitting allowed. Um, when you're out at the mound, you cannot uh, lick your fingers. You'll have to use a damp rag, which will be interesting. So um, they're taking all the steps that they need to take. So we'll see. Maybe there's nothing even to worry about. Um, and then Byron Buxton and Rich Hill of the Twins will be ready to start the season on time. Now, as you remember, with both of them, they had injuries that were going to prevent them from starting the season, had the season started as expected in March. But um, it isn't starting in March. It is starting after what would have been the regular All-Star break. And so they are expected to be available and ready to go for the Twins. So the Twins will be at full strength too. Not good news for my White Sox or really any other team in the AL Central. And that brings us to, that alludes to the playoffs. Finding anything on the playoffs was really difficult. I had to dig, 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 but I finally did find out that guess what? The playoffs are gonna be basically the same as the playoffs always were. Boring. Five teams from each league, three division winners, two wild cards, and the wild card will have a one game play in to get into the final four who will then play off against each other. So it's gonna be just like regular, the regular baseball playoff uh, scenario because they did not get a chance to negotiate anything different on that. That's kind of strange though because it's almost the opposite of how baseball used to be back in the day. You remember back in the day the American League only played the American League, the National League only played the National League and then when the two winners of each league met in the World Series they had not played each other during the season or in some cases in the longest time, or even ever. So um, you had two teams going up against each other that had never even played each other. Well, it's kind of the reverse of that for the playoffs in this scenario. Um, you may have a situation in the World Series, of course, where the two teams didn't meet, um, but even weirder than that, you may have a playoff scenario where the teams on each side of the league have never met. Because if you remember, the West will play each, the, the West from each league will play each other. The Central from each league will play each other. And the East from each league will play each other. But there'll be no crossing over. So if the White Sox, for instance, go to the, let's say they win the wild card, let's say the Twins win the Central and the White Sox are a wild card and let's just say for, um, you know, just to whatever, for whatever sake, let's say that the, um, uh, the Rays, the Tampa Bay Rays end up being the other wild card. Well, the White Sox didn't play the Rays. Now, in the old setup, in the regular setup, if there had been a regular season, the, those two teams would have played five or six times at least during the season. They would have been at least have seen each other. But under a scenario like that, where the White Sox and the Rays are the two wildcard teams, they've never played each other. And the same thing with the division winners. The division winners will never have, have played against each other. The, um, you know, let's say Houston wins the West and they end up playing the Yankees. Well, they didn't play the Yankees during the regular season. And then let's say the White Sox win the one game playoff, which I would hope would happen, certainly. Let's say that the White Sox then um, would go up and play the Twins. Um, all right, well, in that scenario, that's fine because the Twins would have played the White Sox. But then let's say that the White Sox get past the Twins. Let's just say that. And then the um, Yankees beat out the, um, the Yankees beat out Houston. 
then that leaves an ALCS of the White Sox against the Yankees, which again is a matchup that didn't actually happen at all during the season, but in the season we would have had, they would have played each other five or six times. So anyway, that's that's going to be kind of weird because you're going to have and you're going to have that same situation over in the National League. You're going to have all kinds of teams playing each other in the playoffs that never played each other at all in even one game during the season, which is going to be kind of strange. So, um, anyway, that's what I got. Um, what do you guys think about all that? Um, any injuries, players sitting out, anything like that that you want to share that you know about? Leave it in the comments. Give me a like, because that's not on this board that doesn't say give me a like. It doesn't say leave a comment, but that should go without saying. So anyway, uh, yeah, that's what I got. And, um, we, and again, I'm going to keep updating you on baseball news, baseball transactions that I see. And we will also be doing quite a bit of White Sox content throughout the season. For right now, it's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.